Over the years, LEGO have displayed minifigures across Star Wars sets and other themes in so many different ways. But I think today I have engineered the perfect display for every single minifigure LEGO have ever made. So let's get straight into it and take a look at the different options. The first and oldest method of displaying your minifigures is how LEGO continue to with the Jabba Salvage and have always displayed their figures simply just attached to studs, just regular plates. There's really nothing more to it. LEGO is so accurate that surely they have the perfect dimensions for displaying your minifigures. In fact, we talked about this on a previous video and the width of the stud is 4.8 millimeters if i was to bring back that x-wing minifigure that came in the set we reviewed the other day and measure the interior gap between the legs you can see 5.2 millimeters and it's safe to assume that that would be squared off 5.1 that's close enough to 5.2 so they are giving about 0.2 millimeter space on each side of the minifigures and we also have very similar elements like these two by twos that only have the two studs now i do want to ask you and i'll tell you what i'll whack up a poll in my community tab do you put the studs on the front or back legs of minifigures different set designers do it different ways sometimes they tile it off completely there is also a panel we'll get to looking at in a second but when you sit down a minifigure does this cushion the bum of the minifigure or act as some sort of foot rest, I guess, when you're putting them in your vehicles? Let me know in the comments and be sure to make your vote count on the poll. The other panel piece is probably something that's very well known, especially in the Star Wars community. I feel like this is probably the most common way of displaying your minifigures. We do see them used in a lot of sets, such as this A-Wing here. And as you can see, they do hold the minifigures in. There's no chance of that figure falling out and they're held in with just that bracket there is no extra studs this isn't a trick so there is some force being applied to your minifigures but it should be of no concern because otherwise how could you expect the minifigures to be held on in the first place this is somewhat a crucial point for all minifigure displays especially if you live in areas where the ground's a bit shaky or you tend like me to bump into your displays quite often Though it's most common, it's not the only way LEGO figures are displayed because we also have characters like BD here who only take up one stud. So what LEGO tend to do instead is place down a jumper for the smaller minifigure, similar to Grogu and a few other characters, especially in these 18 plus models or other various UCS sets. And that's not to mention other displays like the CMF base plates and all of the 6x4 plates that anniversary minifigures come on, though they're both just using the same stud technique. But I have made a few different displays in my time. First off, I have this clone display that you can see with my clone wall that's just out of shot here. You would have seen at the start of the video clips a CMF display just at the bottom, and these can connect together, but that's not exactly what we're talking about in today's video. As I want to continue the saga of my custom displays, but again, we're seeing a very similar stud technique at the bottom of here. And I think I have revolutionized the way we display minifigures by completely getting rid of those round studs. But before we continue, I just want to give you a brief history. This is one of my early designs I created for a brand new CMF base and then I did get a few comments about the smaller characters like Grogu so of course version 2 was slightly smaller and does fit a little green friend in the middle. I then cleaned it up a little bit for the next version and just got rid of the extra studs that were on the end of the model and this can be stacked up to store a ton of minifigures but they're all still using the same two studs. So there are a few ways to go around this. Over in the members discord, we talked about using these wider door rails. And whilst they don't have much grip to them, it does allow you to put not just regular minifigures, but also some of the smaller creatures like Grogu and the Porg that do fit in that smaller green display. However, we come into a problem when we try to display our astromechs as 
there's just no way of making them fit with minifigures in front or behind. And as I said, there is a problem with the grip as simply tilting these or storing these at an angle will cause all your minifigures to fall off. So perhaps they can be used for certain displays, but something a little better might be this display here where you can take your minifigures and either put them straight into this display though, once again, you've got absolutely no grip, so there is a solid chance of them falling out. But what you can do to your minifigures is attach a single one by two Lego plate, and then they're in there a bit firmly and have lesser chance to wobble when knocked into or even during some vigorous shake testing. Now, the problem is we're using the same stud technique. And whilst you could take a one by two tile and fit that in there, then we've just got a flat plate, which as you probably know, doesn't hold minifigures very well. So what I propose is this piece here. I mean, you might have to zoom in a little bit, a little bit more, keep it coming. Yeah, I think that's good enough. So what this piece is, let me give you a closer look. So what this piece is, is a modified one by two. And this is only the prototype. You can see I 3D printed it. It's a bit wobbly but at least it turned out better than the original version. But you can see it has four stripes on it and it might look a bit weird to start off with, but it fits in a regular one by two gap. That's how I've placed it on this clear Lego brick. So you can see it without my fingers getting in the way because this is absolutely tiny. Yet if we take our minifigure from before and clip it onto it, you can see that not only are they standing but we can turn this a complete three, well, 180 degrees upside down and the minifigure is staying on very, very securely. We can give this quite a vigorous shake test and it just doesn't fall off. And once again, this is a prototype. Hopefully the real deal will be a bit stronger. But what this also means is there's less chance of your minifigure legs actually cracking because this isn't a round spherical object and therefore, any force that is applied that does overdo a few of the boundaries to this plate will just snap one of these lines off. So rather than your minifigure legs taking the fall, it would just be these 3D printed elements, especially because the PLA I've used for this is a bit weaker, well, quite a bit weaker than the ABS Lego use for their minifigures. So this will allow you to display all of your figures without worrying about any cracks or any damage from the plate below. And not only does it hold up to minifigures, but because we've used these lines, it also works as a jumper tile as well. And once again, upside down, Grogu holds on very, very well. So it's a modified plate jumper combination. And not only does it work for the single plate creatures as well, but all we need is a one by one plate and suddenly it's the perfect display for your astromech droids. Now, I'm not sure if this will work. This haven't been tested before, but would you look at that? There's a first time for everything and it actually holds up to the weight of a droid, which is a bit heavier than a regular minifigure. And not only that, when you pull it away, you can see the connection really isn't as strong as a Lego connection, but still strong enough to hold up your minifigures. So I think this is the perfect display piece. And not only does it work on its own, but it also works with the CMF base plates and also the green display I showed you earlier. Not to mention because it takes up the same dimensions as a regular Lego plate, it doesn't fall out when used in combination with a few other tiles like this. You can see we're still using that modified two by two underneath and it fits in nice and snug. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are we making progress on the perfect minifigure display? Is there anything you would want to add or change about this piece? Of course, you do need the extra one by one plate if you want to display an astromech, but I think Besides that, this will definitely hold up to a load of different minifigure connections, especially when you consider all the modified legs that LEGO are coming out with. I really do like this design, or perhaps you prefer the older green design because of the space saver, and maybe next time I can look at combining the two to swap out the studs at the bottom. That could be 
really, really cool. Originally, I was going to modify this to be a bit wider so you can get official Lego glass panels in it. And again, if you'd like to see that, let me know by dropping a like on this video. I think it is awesome that we are able to produce these alternate bricks to Lego in our homes with something as simple as a 3D printer. Of course, it's not cheap, but then again, neither is Lego. Thank you so much for watching. Check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.